Blockchains are not connected, and they're not connected in a multitude of ways. One, blockchains aren't connected to the enterprise stack. So some of you may not be aware of this, but you can't just deploy a blockchain and then expect a corporate entity to suddenly interact with it. It has to be integrated in a wide range of their particular systems. It has to be able to operate behind their firewall. So this is one of the key problems that needs to be unlocked, that needs to be solved for if we're gonna to take tokenization forward. Two, blockchains can't talk to other blockchains. A very simple, simple fact of life. In the DeFi world, we've depended on specific types of bridges to try and solve this, at least in a stopgap way. But as of last count, we're at $2.6 billion in bridge hacks and counting. So fundamentally, it's not just about enabling blockchains to interact, but it's also about doing so secure and reliably. Three, thinking about it from a corporate standpoint or for a large institution standpoint, there's a growing patchwork of blockchain tech. This is just a subset. You have L1s, you have L2s, you've got a whole range of very interesting applications being deployed in DeFi that are now starting to converge with TradFi. You've got the banks deploying their own platforms. You've got a whole bunch of KYC and AML platforms and new players that are emerging into the market as well, uh, focusing on tokenization. If you're a bank, if you're a large enterprise, this is firstly confusing, but importantly, strategically, you start to question where do I place my bets? Should I have to interact with 20 different blockchains in order to enable tokenization? Or is there a simpler way? So this is where the second problem comes into it and what Chainlink is looking to solve. This is the interoperability problem. And being able to enable users, both in DeFi as well as in TradFi, to share value, share tokens, share messaging seamlessly, securely, and reliably across different blockchains 